The Chargers have officially met with Jim Harbaugh today, and it looks like we are closer than ever to filling our GM and head coach positions. Now, I'm pretty confident that our next general manager and head coach have already been interviewed after today, so make sure to like and subscribe if you do enjoy this content, man. It helps me out so much, and let me tell you why I am really certain that Jim Harbaugh is going to be the coach of the Chargers. Jim Harbaugh, during, you know, you got that big chunk of time right between the Big Ten title game and the college football playoff. He was definitely making calls. He was updating staff lists. He was evaluating potential openings. He has continued, from my understanding, to do that through the course of this week. Jim Harbaugh could end up in the NFL. So before the college football playoff even started, he was making calls, updating staff lists, and evaluating potential openings. Brandon Staley was fired on December 15th after the Thursday night game against the Raiders. And I'm sorry I even have to bring that up. It was just disgusting to watch, but it is significant. And I have to bring it up because the Big Ten championship game was December 2nd. And Tom Pelissero is saying here that Jim Harbaugh was looking at potential openings at the same time that the Chargers job opened up. The Michigan and Alabama game was less than two weeks after Staley was fired, and by that time, there were already tons of reports, and the entire Chargers fan base was connecting Jim Harbaugh to the Chargers, so that makes sense that they were in contact during those weeks off for Michigan after the Iowa game and then before that Alabama game where Brandon Staley got fired. It's even possible, man, that they fired Brandon Staley after already having contacted Jim Harbaugh and Jim Harbaugh told them he was interested in coaching that team. And then that gave Dean Spanos the confidence to fire Staley and Tom Telesco in the middle of the season, which that has never been done before in Chargers history, firing a GM and a head coach in the middle of a season. But maybe he did that because Jim Harbaugh said, I could turn this team around quickly if given the opportunity and if I was able to bring my guys in there. I know for a fact that there must be so many things going on behind the scenes that we don't know about Jim Harbaugh and the Chargers. Their meeting today, this is definitely not the first time that they have been in contact and they have been talking seriously about Jim Harbaugh coaching the Chargers. There have just been way too many reports. There's been way too much interest. There, all the connections have been there with the guy who is his agent, Don Yee, working with the Chargers as well, and the contract numbers. I mean, and listen to what Adam Schefter said this morning on the Pat McAfee show. Jim is completely open to listening, and I believe the Chargers are targeting Jim Harbaugh to be their guy and we'll see if they can sit down and figure it out and that means okay can the Chargers set up their organization in a way that Jim would be comfortable are they saying the same kind of things and speaking the same kind of language like hey can we get this nutrition program going can we have the weight room in your team's new training complex the way I want I want x number of analytics people I want more employees more scouting like all the infrastructure that's involved, Shout. right? Yeah. And if they're talking the same language, I think in a perfect world, Jim would like to go do it. I can tell you this, the Chargers, I believe, want him. I believe he wants Justin Herbert. And now we see if the two sides can sit down and figure out a way to make it happen. So again, we're hearing reports of the Chargers having their eyes set on Jim Harbaugh and that's exactly what they should do and Jim Harbaugh he loves Justin Herbert so much and wants to win a Super Bowl so much that he would choose them over the other openings like the Raiders he's been tied to them a little bit and even if the Cowboys job opens up after that terrible game against the Packers he might be interested in that one too but I think if Jim Harbaugh were to leave Michigan for the NFL, because remember, it would take a lot for him to leave Michigan, it would only happen for the Chargers job because the Chargers would have to pay a premium to have him come in and be their head coach. And they would also have to give up a lot of that control. A lot of the personnel decisions would have to go through and probably have to start with what Jim Harbaugh has to say. And do you really think that Jerry Jones and the Cowboys organization would give Jim Harbaugh that level of control over the roster and pay him that premium amount of money? I don't think Jerry Jones is willing to relinquish all of that power. And Dean Spanos and John Spanos, bro, the Spani, they have said there have been multiple reports this season. I know how much everybody hates them, but they have come out, and this is at least uh, to my knowledge, the first time that they have ever come out and said that they don't like the stigma that the charges are cheap and they're not willing to pay people. 
and they want to win in Los Angeles and they're willing to do what it takes to pay the coaches and pay the players and get somebody in there that knows what they're doing in order to win. They're willing to relinquish that control. That is the first time that I have ever heard the span eye say anything along the lines of being this passionate and this committed to winning. But would the Raiders also be willing to do what it takes to get Jim Harbaugh? Well, I think that they'd be willing to pay him and probably give him a lot of the control, just like they were willing to do with uh, John Gruden. But what the Raiders don't have is a Justin Herbert, man. They have Aiden O'Connell. That's nowhere near Justin Herbert. And we all know how much Jim Harbaugh loves Justin Herbert, man. The reports have been out there. Just listen to this. We were not talking about a coaching vacancy. We were not talking about him leaving Michigan, nothing. We were just talking about how great the young quarterback play is in the National Football League. He spent five minutes telling me that he thinks that Justin Herbert is the best of all of them. He oh, loves breaking. Herbert. Take that for what you will. And Adam Schefter also had this report about what John Harbaugh, the Ravens head coach, said about his brother, Jim Harbaugh. Take John Harbaugh from my podcast that runs tomorrow. And I asked him, what will make Jim successful at the NFL level should he go? John went on and on about Jim being as good a team builder as there is in football, whether he was in San Diego, Stanford, 49ers, Michigan, John believes based on his comments, he's going to do it again. Okay, so did you catch that? Because I think there was something really significant there. He said he's a great team builder and he's done it everywhere he's gone, okay? But he said that he believes he is going to do it again. Now that to me means, I mean, I think that's a little slip by John Harbaugh there because that tells me that he knows Jim Harbaugh is going to leave Michigan and going to the Chargers. And not only that, but he believes that he will build a physical and smart team just like he did at Michigan and San Diego and San Francisco. If you look at all of the guys that are leaving Michigan right now and declaring for the draft, I think even the players know that he's not going to be coming coming back to Michigan and coaching there. And it's the perfect time for him to leave because he had all of those seniors and just won the national championship. So he has nothing more to achieve at Michigan right now. And again, we all know he wants to win a Super Bowl. It feels like this is inevitable right now. And the only team that really fits what Jim Harbaugh wants in order to leave Michigan. I think honestly, it's the Chargers. They just need to get that GM pairing with him, but also don't expect this to happen like tonight or tomorrow or anything like that, because it's just simply not going to under the rules of the NFL because they need to fulfill the Rooney rule requirements and they haven't done that yet. They interviewed Leslie Frazier in person, but they have to interview one more minority coach in person before hiring a head coach in this process. And the interviews with Patrick Graham and Steve Wilkes were virtual. So that doesn't fulfill the Rooney rule. Uh, I'd expect that Aaron Glenn, the Lions defensive coordinator, or Raheem Morris, the Rams defensive coordinator, the Rams just got knocked out of the playoffs yesterday. They are probably going to be interviewed in person at some point this week so that they can get that Rooney rule out of the way and start hiring the guys that they want, like Jim Harbaugh. And I think probably Ian Cunningham to pair with him. If not Ian Cunningham, then Joe Hortiz. But I think it's looking like Ian Cunningham and Jim Harbaugh right now because of everything that is lining up. And if you don't know who Ian Cunningham is, because I know you know who Jim Harbaugh is, then you can check out this video right here where I went over Ian Cunningham and everything you need to know.